G'day, Darren from Shearing World for another quick tip. Today we're going to look at our centre posts and cups. Now, it's a very important part because what the centre post and cup do is actually, that's it, that's it there, centre post and then the cup's in on the, in the fork and it sets the height at which the fork sits and whether we're going to get a cut. So if the posting cup wears down, that can change the angle at which your fork's sitting and running. So it can determine how rough or smooth your handpiece will run, whether it's at the right angle for your chicken feet to be cutting on the tips and all that sort of stuff. So it's a really, really important part of our handpiece. Unfortunately, it's one of the main parts that gets most neglected. So here we are. We've got a new posting cup. So you can see, if I get it close, beautiful round ball on the top. There. If we look at the cup, the new cup, you can see nice thickness even all the way around. Nothing worn inside, just a cup. And that just sits in there, and if you can have a look at that, the height just sits in there nicely, and then it basically, it's just doing that all day. Just chick, 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 oscillating all day. Now, obviously, metal on metal, it's not getting lubricated properly by a lot of people. <laughs> if it doesn't get lubricated, it wears out really quick. So you've got your tension down, so you're screwing your fork down tight into that post and cup. Maybe I should do it the other way around. So your fork comes down on your cup, you're screwing it down nice and tight, and it's going like that all day. So if you don't lubricate that, it will wear out really quick. And we have some perfect examples of what happens. So here we are with a Heinegger post and cup. Really worn out. And you can see the angle. If we come down to the white, I might be able to see it better. Look at the angle of that head. So if we put that one back there, the new one. Look at that. Unbelievable. A difference. So then we also got the cup. If you have a look in here, see a massive, you turn around like that even, you might be able to see it. You can see it's really worn out in there. Put the new one next to it. You can see that. This part's missing this, that whole side compared to what the new one looks like. Now if we sit the, the uh, old or the buggered one in the buggered cup, you can see how it's sitting, it's just sitting in there and it's resting on it. So it's instead of being up like that where it should be, or that way, up like that where it should be, it's dropped down and forward. So we've probably lost another three mil of height on our fork. So the fork's dropped down. If our tension's pin and sleeve's worn out, everything's dropped right down. Our angle of our fork's way out of control and never gonna get a cut. So that's a Heinegger one, and you might say, well, you keep using Heinegger stuff. Well, there's that many Heinegger hand pieces out there. There's more of them, but here's a Lister one. Exactly the same thing. Okay, so look at the head on that. It's almost gone. Now, I, I can guarantee you there's blokes out there shearing now, well, a lot of blokes and ladies with post and cups like that, just really struggling with their gear. And shearing's hard enough as it is without having to have your gear that bad and trying to get a cut. So the main goal is we need to lubricate that part of it. The quickest way to do it is I need to put a hole in there and Lister also do as well. A little hole in there while that's loose. So if you loosen your tension off, you've got nothing there. The, the post has come out it's just sitting out like that that's what it's like inside there we need to drop some oil in there very regularly I like to do it every time I change a cutter but a lot of people seem that think that's over the top but I've never worn a post and cup like that in my life so a lot of oil in there regularly make sure that there's no tension on so you don't put your comb and cutter on screw it down and then try and oil it because it's already squished up put your oil down in there and 
you won't have any problems. So I hope that's helped. Same as every other episode. You can buy your gear here, your parts, and you can do it yourself, or we can do it for you. I can do your handpiece up for you. If there's any other info you, you require, feel free to message, but hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next tip.